Joe Budden defends not releasing the podcast with the Diddy discussion and fires back at fans for criticizing what he did. Down on the decision made and don't feel like anything was done wrong, all his missed opportunities y'all talking about. I couldn't disagree more. As far as the accountability, blame it on me. I'll take it all. Nobody even knew what was happening. I did it. Yell and scream at me. But y'all are critiquing silence, and I prefer it that way. Even got a problem. An opinion. She had an I opinion. even got a problem with the word <laughs> silence being used because it speaks to the instant gratification that some of y'all are looking for. It's not silence because it didn't come out on an episode where you read some timestamps. That's not what silence is. Silence is quiet on the subject, not saying a word about it. It's no silence. You niggas is overreacting. And, 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 and for your damage control point, the next time y'all complaining about some sh- I'll go enjoy my fucking day. What are y'all talking about? I get a lot of y'all have like a fan point of view, right? Like I heard you earlier say, what is there to think about? You see this video, you see it, and it's f***ed up, and that's it. What is there mm-hmm. to... I heard you say that. Yeah. But, but it's not just fans that are listening to the finished product. This is a This is an industry-wide call out that will be happening Wednesday. This is not just what y'all are listening to and thinking about and feeling. For me, there were no ramifications from taking out the seven minutes that were in there. Mm -hmm. There were no ramifications for everybody being in a great, healthy mood on a Friday and enjoying that vibe and having to stop. For me and for the people that was in the room, that was important. It wasn't about what the fans would think. It wasn't mm-hmm. about hiding and all of these narratives y'all are coming up with. I'm not trying to manipulate none of y'all. Please have your own thoughts. But no, no. Coming back Wednesday when you know, and Wednesday is the pod for that too. Mm-hmm if I have to choose. But yeah, coming back Wednesday, well thought out as a cast, as a crew, as a team. Everybody's reaction to that is different. Mel needs time to get her together. The fellas need time to get together. I mean, but this podcast is not for people to come in here with feel and vomit. That's right. On a Twitter space, Joe Budden decided to address some of the blowback he's been receiving as a result of him not releasing the Diddy discussion that was had on the podcast. Obviously, there is a media firestorm centered on the video that dropped of Diddy beating up Cassie. And when Joe Budden decided not to release the portion of the podcast where he discussed the subject, that raised a lot of red flags for people who listen to the show with many wondering hey if you're the pod father you should be able to discuss topics and not edit things out well after a media firestorm on twitter and throughout many sections of social media joe budden snapped back at his fans and explained why he decided to withhold that version of the podcast and for my interpretation It looks like he needed to buy more time to accurately discuss the subject. And let's be honest, he probably should have scrapped whatever podcast he was doing, start from the top, and release a new episode where he broke it down. Now, another thing he says is that it also was incumbent upon him to make sure that his other co-hosts were prepared to talk about the subject and that there was a need to stay away from feelings vomit. Now, listeners, I'm asking y'all to think, is this a viable reason? Do you think that Joe really felt that way? Or did he just kind of want to see the wait and see game and and just wait and kind of fill out what other media would do? Because I kind of see both sides here. I do think that Joe probably did feel like Ish, Ice, Melissa Ford, Parks, and other members of the cast needed to get prepared. I mean, you look at someone like Queen's Flip, he's capable of flying off the handle without too much research, so it might be better for him to go back to the drawing board, read what people are saying online, and then speak, because I think during the last Diddy situation, he wasn't the most, you know, fair to Cassie. From what I remember, I may need to go back and listen. Same with everybody else on the show, They're just not a well-researched cast, 
And I'm curious to see how not just the Joe Budden podcast, but how other entertainment platforms handle this. I'm looking at Earn Your Leisure. I'm looking at The Breakfast Club. I'm looking at Rory and Maul. This is a incident that's going to have a ripple effect throughout the industry, as Diddy still has a lot of power, even if he's called up in a case. Remember, his connections, he's put a lot of people in spots that still have reign over certain things, and who knows what type of connections he has to those people. Now, looking forward, it's going to be interesting to see what this does to Revolt TV. Will Revolt TV have to change their name? I think Revolt will have to change their name just to completely get that Diddy stench off them. I, I completely see a new name change in the near future. And um, I even see some podcasters making statements. I really think some PR statements are going to come on the way. I'm watching you, Drink Champs. Very heavily connected to Diddy and falling deep within his fear. But right now, we're here to talk about the Joe Budden podcast. And he seems to be getting a very, very defensive about the fans blowing back. But I think the fans have proper feedback. Like, why are you afraid to talk about it, Joe? Why are you afraid? Usually... You know, in previous podcasts that you've done, you said that you would be on the front lines if there was any type of hard evidence that ever appeared. So, this next episode of the Joe Budden Podcast is going to be very interesting. I don't even think we could properly analyze the Patreon that's dropping tomorrow, but that next episode of the JBP will be one that we have to monitor. We're going to see how far people go. We are going to see how far people don't go. And that is my video for now. All right, y'all. Like I said before, leave the dialogue in the comments. Follow me on Instagram, The Stop TV. Follow me on Twitter, The Stop TV. This is Danny from The Stop. Peace.